have a mental breakdown over a crochet sweater because if not, here we go. This feels so excessive. This feels like somebody that goes to the gym like three times a day and wants to tell you about how much water they drink. This is, that's what I feel like when I drink out of it. But if you struggle with object permanence and just you, if you have ADHD, for me, if it's not in front of me, it doesn't exist. I will absolutely dehydrate myself because I will not want to go through the process of standing up and getting a glass of water. That's not why I sat down to talk. <laughs> Sorry, okay. I decided I'm gonna make a sweater out of these. I'm still on maternity leave. Just wanna do something special before it's over and something to really mark this season of my life. So I thought it'd be really cool to make something I can wear because I've heard that's really fun. I am not good at making things I can wear. I've tried a million times. I tried making a houndstooth sweater vest that ended up not fitting me really at all, which I didn't know about blocking, so I should probably block that. I think I wanna make a tutorial on how to make this square. I like teaching how to learn. Does that? I am so fascinated with the fact that the brain can teach itself how to do something. Like, <laughs> I'm not talking about like a fact, like, did you know evergreen trees are always green? Like, that was a bad example. Like, I mean, learning a new skill. All that to say, I think I would <laughs> want to make a tutorial on how to make these. I always have to take my watch off when I crochet because uh, my watch thinks that I'm exercising. The littlest bit, it thinks I'm like walking. And so I'll end a day crocheting and have like 30,000 steps, which is amazing if that were true, but it's not. So I take my watch off and put it in my sock. <laughs> and then every once in a while, I'll be having a conversation with someone and this is what they'll see. Oh really? That's really cool. What did you like about it? <laughs> I just keep talking and I'm like, that's really, that sounds like a really good experience. Tell me more about it. And they're like, why did your Apple Watch just come from your shoe? And I'm like, don't worry about it. This was supposed to just be like a random patchworky little sweater where I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm just gonna randomly crochet a bunch of squares and then throw them together because it doesn't matter. But um, that's not really how I work, it turns out. So <laughs> that's where my iPad comes in. Um, I am just drawing out what I want the actual layout of the granny squares to look like so that I know how many granny squares to make of each color combination. I'm trying to make two combinations for each background square color, but as it turns out, that's a lot of variations. And so I'm just trying to do what I can to not lose my mind and like know what I'm crocheting so I don't waste any time because I just, I don't wanna make any more squares than I need to because it's already a lot of work. I'm not 100% sure I have the scale right though because like I actually don't have the scale right at all because I didn't even check what the scale was for this grid that I'm using. That looks right. I should probably measure something. For how much planning I'm doing visually with this drawing situation, I've not planned anything else in terms of like, how big are the squares? Is that an appropriate amount of granny squares to line up and sew together? Is that gonna be too big? But I have not done that and it didn't occur to me till right now. I should probably go measure that square. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. So after I mapped out all of my granny squares, I realized that if I do four across the front and the back, it's gonna be too wide, but if I do three, it's a little bit too snug. So I'm adding one more, <laughs> one more row of double crochet as like a border in the same color of each granny square, um, just so that they're a little bit bigger and it'll give me another like couple inches, I guess, on each side. So now I'm going back and finishing 
all of the granny squares with one more border. I wonder if I should give this sweater pockets. got all my squares. <laughs> I'm so proud of these. This has taken so much time. Um, now it's time for me to weave all the ends in. Originally I had done this, but then I decided to go back and add that extra row of double crochet around the border. Um, so now I have to weave the ends in again and re-block them. This is gonna take a lot longer than I expected it to. <laughs> I thought I could just like spritz them with some water and go for it, but I went for like the method of soaking them fully and then pinning them and letting them dry because I really want them to be even and I don't want them to like pop up. So it's just a lot of yarn. <laughs> Start locking early if you're gonna soak them. We have moved on to the ribbing. Ribbing? Ribbing? Ribbing. <laughs> ribbing. Yeah. The cuffs, like the, the sleeves and the bottom ribbing of the sweater. I've said it too many times now, it doesn't sound like a word. We've moved on to the ribbing of the sweater. A very normal word that is a word. I'm so tired. I'm trying something where I crochet it separately because every single time I've tried to make an article of clothing, it always instructs you to start with the bottom ribbing first and then to flip it on its side. You know, you make it like long and then you flip it on its side and then you crochet up on top of it. But every time I do that, it comes out weird. Like it comes out too scrunched up and then it makes the bottom all divity. And I just, I don't like the way it looks. And so, I'm trying to just make it separately and then sew it on at the end. I'm not really sure how well it's gonna work out. It might honestly, like, it might not be tight enough. We'll see how it goes. It, it might just look like an extension of the sweater and not really shrink the bottom in, kind of like I would hope the bottom of a sweater would do. We'll see. I'm taking a chance and seeing if it works out, but I might have to fix it eventually, or I could just not, and I could just keep it the way it is and not change it a million times, but, I'm, I'm me, so I'm, I'm hoping that I will just stick with it and let it be what it is and carry on. I'm hoping, that is my goal for this sweater. Maybe not reality. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna do the same thing for the sleeves, so I'm just gonna crochet it separately and then sew it on at the end. But I don't know how I'm gonna do that because the sleeves are so wide. We'll cross that sleeve when we get there. most delicious human in the world she really is. She's happy for all of us. Okay, it's time to start sewing everything all together. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, this is taking forever. <laughs> I have everything blocked out and I've like I've laid everything out on the ground to kind of see how I want the final layout to be. It's changed so many times. I laid it out on the iPad like three different variations, I think, two or three. And then now seeing how large the actual granny squares are, 
I didn't need to add the extra border, but that's fine. Don't tell Elise that. <laughs> Anyways, I didn't need to add the extra border, but I've laid it out a few times now and I have the exact layout that I want front and back and I'm just going to start joining all of the squares in making those uh, front and back panels as well as joining the sleeves together and then I think I will reblock everything. I, I don't know yet, but yeah, it's happening. <laughs> Okay, so this is, <laughs> I'm so excited. Wait, <laughs> I'm not gonna cry, am I? No, okay, I might, who knows. Okay, I sewed them together. This is the front panel. I still have to sew the back panel together. Um, but I think I'm actually gonna block them again because where I kind of joined them, they kind of dip in like that. Just the nature of granny squares together. So what I'm gonna do is block them as a whole panel and then kind of sew everything together after that. You can never block too many times. I think that a sweater like this, I really wanna wear it. So I want it to look perfect. So I'm wearing a quilt. Basically this is what it's gonna look like. It looks like an old lady quilt. I love it. I love it so much. Okay. It's coming together, it's really happening, I'm really doing it. And it's snowing! This is the best day! <laughs> oh, I love, I love being alive. You wanna know what's crazy? <laughs> Okay, one second. How do I articulate what I'm feeling? I'm just really grateful um, to be alive. <laughs> I don't think I've heard myself say that a lot. And um, there was a long stretch of my life where I couldn't even imagine having said, I'm really happy to be alive. And now I'm making sweaters. <laughs> and I'm crying at the snow. <laughs> I just think that's really beautiful. You can go from like not wanting to wake up in the morning to like crocheting sweaters. And then all of a sudden you start to cry at the snow and you say you're happy to be alive. And you really, really mean it. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna sew some ribbing onto this sweater now. So I'll, I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> I forgot I was wearing sunglasses. <laughs> I went to the eye doctor today and I had to get my eyes dilated. I can't really look at the camera because the light is right behind the camera, but there's a, so much light in the world. <laughs> you don't, yeah. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just gonna keep doing this. I can't, I can't get this on while you're watching me. <laughs> I sure 
hope this works. I really hope all of this time and energy. That's not what I wanted. That's a hot dog. Jonas! Okay, I got the salami. We reuse the containers, so that's what you get. Sometimes it's salami, sometimes it's a hot dog. Just trying to really picture it. I want to know the first person that ever created crocheting because when I'm doing it, I feel like all I'm doing is making a bunch of knots. And the fact that somebody did this on purpose and then remembered how to do it again. That's, they remembered how to do it again. That's crazy. <laughs> it wasn't like, oh, I'm gonna do this on accident. I have no idea how I did this. What are the origins of crochet? Have you ever seen someone make lace? <laughs> oh my God. That's impressive. If you've never watched a video of someone making lace, you should do that right now. We'll finish this one, but then go watch a video of someone making lace. But don't leave this one, please. Okay, back to it. We have the whole sweater sewn together, so I'm gonna turn it inside out and try it on. I'm like nervous, I don't want it to be bad. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Wow, okay, wow. So the neck, obviously, I need to still close it, okay. <laughs> okay, we're getting somewhere, people. Okay, let me close up the top. Okay, I'm hating this more and more. <laughs> I don't think this is working. I don't think this is the vibe. I don't think it's the vibe. I don't like that. Yeah, okay. I don't know how to fix this. We'll figure it out. Okay, that's better. There we go. Okay, that's better. Okay, okay. We're doing it. Okay, okay. It's gonna be okay. This is where we're at, and I think what I'm gonna do is continue adding. Do I just not add any mock neck and just keep going and add like a little border? I need to redo the bottom and redo it like I did the cuffs that it's like attached. I don't know, maybe I won't actually. Let me, one thing at a time. I think it's just cause it's not tight enough on the bottom, you know? One thing at a time. What do I do? I think I have to add some kind of like mock neck just to like match. Let me try. But if I'm really gonna wear it, then I don't wanna feel like I'm being choked. Just a little bit, maybe just like one row. No, I'm never gonna wear that. What about half? What if it's like this? So that is too much. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I think it should have that. I'm probably not gonna wear it anyways, so I might as well make it look as beautiful as I can. Okay. Cheese! You blinked. That's unfortunate. Listen, I'm taking the bottom ribbing out again. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do this. Has anyone ever had a mental breakdown over a crochet sweater? Because if not, here we go. So I'm taking it out and here's the reason why. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay. I don't like it because it does exactly what I thought it would do, and it just exists. It isn't tight at the bottom, and I should have, I, I measured it before I blocked it, and then when I blocked it, it stretched way out, which is the point of blocking, but I should have considered that, and I didn't. Why? Because I've never made a sweater before that actually fit. So it's, we're in a learning curve, and then we're gonna figure it out. It's fine, we're gonna figure it out, but I'm gonna rip it off the bottom of the sweater, and then I'll, crochet it onto the sweater, and it's probably gonna look exactly the same. That's the problem. I don't 
don't know if maybe I'm just like afraid to move on from the sweater because after I do that, I don't know what I'm gonna do because it's been such a big part of my life the last month. The good news is I just got lunch delivered so I can eat lunch while watching Netflix while ripping a stitch out. When I don't know what to eat and I don't know what sounds good, I just go for meat. It's good, it's yummy. I know it's gonna be a crowd favorite for my stomach. Crowd of one. I am gonna take the neck out one more time. So this is where we're at. So I'll leave the ends in and then we're finishing today. We're finishing the sweater today. Aw, that's special. Labor of love. Okay. Great. Okay, it's the day! She's ready. She is stunning. She is magical. She is done. We're gonna put her on. <laughs> I don't know if I like it. She's a work of art. <laughs> Hi, my name's Elise. I made this sweater. You like it? I made it. Thank you. It is hot. Yes, it is. I don't know how many more things I'm gonna make that I'm gonna actually wear, but it's beautiful. She is stunning. She is done. And we did it. <laughs> I'm proud I stuck with it. It's like I don't know how to stand. <laughs> Just look natural. Why do I go to just like the, like am I doing the robot? Why am I so uncomfortable? Or this? That's, what is? <laughs> Love you guys.